Hello there, time for a special celebrity makeup bag bridal episode on Sophia Richie Granger's stunning minimal wedding makeup. The internet is obsessed with this blushing beauty breakdown, partly thanks to Sophia and her makeup artist Patty Dubroff sharing tutorials. If you've watched this series on my channel before, you already know Patty. She's a superstar celebrity makeup artist and major collaborator with Margot Robbie in particular, Priyanka Chopra Jonas, and Elizabeth Olsen. Patty nailed Sophia's fresh faced bridal brief with sleek hair by Kathleen. Riley and Elegant Nails by Georgia Ray. As a minimal makeup fan, I loved seeing something so understated on such a big day. Fresh, glowy, creamy products, the epitome of enhancing your features. Not hard when you're as stunning as Sophia, her skin is absolutely flawless. Can't find her facialist, but I would love to know who it is. I've pieced together all of the product details from her wedding weekend to share with you. Many formulas and shades I'm already a fan of. Patty didn't include any base makeup in her breakdown, and I believe that. Sophia's skin is unbelievable, but Sophia herself applied a couple of complexion products for other looks. The night before the weekend kicked off, she used Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation Stick as an all-over skin fix foundation concealer hybrid, blending a few small strokes with a sponge for a touch of coverage, also seen for spot concealing in her Vogue Beauty Secrets video. Flashing forward to her honeymoon, Sophia used a forever favourite of mine, Clay de Peau Concealer, in a similar small strokes way. So creamy and skin-like, this is high coverage for spot concealing but never looks cakey. Just appeared in my Phoebe Bridges Met Gala makeup bag episode too. Breaking down some bronzer steps, for her wedding day and rehearsal dinner, Patty Dubroff applied Makeup by Mario's Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer After Blush for a touch of sun-kissed glow. This barely there balmy bronzer is a fairly new addition for me this year. Patty says she's obsessed with this and used a fan brush to keep application light. In three TikTok looks, Sophia swiped Nude Sticks Nudies Matte Bronze in Bondi Bay just under her cheekbones. Nude Sticks is all about creamy, multitasking products. You can find a very old brand overview below, so the formulas only need a little dabellini to blend. Sophia also used Dior Backstage Contour Palette, one of her favourite palettes of all time. With a fluffy shadow brush, she swept some of the mid-brown shades in her crease and a touch under her bottom lash line, so you could use whatever powder bronzer you have at home. One of her secret favourites is Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, but it was in her Vogue video too. Love seeing a high-low celebrity makeup bag brand mix. Applying this like a contour in the hollows of her cheeks, then a quick sweep along her hairline and jawline. Sophia is the beauty director of Nude Sticks. I'd completely missed that ambassador-like appointment in October last year, so it's no wonder Nude Sticks played a big blush part. This sun-kissed and picante combo was applied by Patty for both the wedding day and rehearsal dinner for a bronzy, healthy healthy cheek. If you've been watching my channel for a few years, you'll remember Sunkissed from many videos in 2019. Technically a bronzer, but it's such a beautiful, rosy terracotta, truly sun-kissed blush, pigmented and matte, so it has more lasting power for a cream. Patty applied a sheer wash of this one first, then a little pop of Picante on top. Patty says this looks super healthy, like you just got a little sun. I bought mine in a recent Sephora sale for some future summery travels, took forever to arrive, so it's very well timed for this. Such a bright, fiery orange, but a tiny bit just enlivens your look. Sophia also has the shade Sunset Strip in her makeup bag, applying it that weekend and on her honeymoon for extra rosy cheeks. She swirls her finger on top and pats the colour along her cheekbones and also added a little more on her eyes and lips. Hello fellow multitasking makeup lover! One of my favourite natural, dewy, dream healthy glow highlighters is Chanel Bomb Essentiel, part of Sophia's wedding day and rehearsal dinner. Chanel listed the shade Drage, an iridescent pink pearl. Patty showed us a peachy tube, and from the way she started to pronounce it, roll the clip. Chanel Bomb Essentiel in M. Sounds like it starts with E, right? M something. My favourite shade in this formula is called Ensoleillé. It's peachy and it's the only Bomb Essentiel starting with E, so I personally think this might have been what Patty used, but it was limited edition, so Drage is still around. Very similar, little more pink. Radiant cheekbones for Sophia, plus a tiny bit in the centre of her eyelids for the rehearsal dinner. Sophia loves the shade Sculpting too, an ideal pearly champagne, just a classic natural highlight she called her favourite highlighter ever, patting it onto her cheekbones and brow bone. 
Sophia says she gets her brows tinted, doesn't fill them in, just gels them up with Charlotte Tilbury Brow Fix Clear Gel. Recognised that gold packaging. I love Charlotte's brow pencil and tinted gel, but the clear one has a mascara-like wand that really brushes, lifts and holds brow hairs. Some easygoing eyeshadow picks. The base for both her wedding and rehearsal dinner was Chanel Stilo Ombre et Contour in the shade 12 Contour Claire. Patty applied this creamy crayon in her crease, blended out softly. This is a rediscovery for me, such an easy brown to enhance your eyes, also seen in my Sadie Sink and Lucy Boynton videos. At the rehearsal dinner, Patty and Sophia wanted a little bit more eye and smudged Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Eye Color in Slate onto the lid, blending it so it was just a wash of tone. Dark slate grey would be a bit stark on me, so I'd just swap to a brown instead. Happened to have the same Nude Sticks formula in Fig. Very soft, creamy and pigmented. The hint of gold glow on her wedding day was Chanel Duo Lumiere Illuminating Eye Gloss. Sadly limited edition, but Patty's tip for a similar sunlit glow? Just use gold shadow and mix it with cream highlighter. Like her adding a bit of Balm Essentiel on Sophia's eyes at the rehearsal dinner. Sophia stuck to her all-time favourite mascara, Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof. In her 2019 Vogue video, she said she'd been wearing this for years and would never use another, and stayed true to that at the wedding. Some lip liners in her life. For a wedding dinner, she lined her lips with Victoria Beckham Beauty Lip Definer in shade 2, a neutral beige brown. Sophia kept saying she's so bad at lining her lips, but these VB pencils are so smooth, creamy and easy. Poolside pre-wedding, she reached for MAC Lip Pencil in Oak, a soft beige brown. Sophia said this is one of her favourite lip liners and that she doesn't love lipstick on her, she prefers the look of a liner and gloss. On her honeymoon, she applied a very well-loved, worn-down MAC Strip Down, a creamy brown beige. I've personally been getting into MAC liners for the first time in my research for a future episode. Stay tuned. For the wedding day and rehearsal dinner, Patty applied Dibs No Pressure Lip Definer in Medium. She said it looks kind of grey, but is actually the most perfect lip pencil for a little hidden definition and contour. Beautifully natural lip colours coming up. The product in this gorgeous photo, Chanel Rouge Coco Balm in 928 Pink Delight. I'm a fan of this satiny sheer formula. Went to try Sophia's Pink in person. Wasn't for me. Whenever you find a product or formula through someone whose style you admire, just pick a shade that fits your style. I already enjoy 914 Natural Charm, a buildable brownie nude caramel. On top of that Chanel pink, Patty added Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in Sunkissed Nude in the centre of the lip. Just a final touch for some depth and warmth. Sold out everywhere, that's the Sophia and Patty TikTok effect. I've recently been patting Nude Sticks Sunset Strip Blush onto my lips in a similar way and love the deep pink flush. More Chanel for the rehearsal dinner, Rouge Coco Flash in 54 Boy. Patty says this is probably the shade she uses most, a delicate, neutral, nude pink for a hint of colour and shine. Mine's a very old version, Rouge Coco Shine, but the colour has continued in the current Flash formula. By the pool, Sophia applied Summer Friday's Lip Butter Balm in Pink Sugar. She said she's clinically obsessed with this balm right now and the flavour is heaven. I can confirm I have the original and brown sugar and their cupcake icing sweet. On her honeymoon, Sophia added Refi Lip Gloss. She says she's new to the brand and obsessed. I love Refi Brow Sculpt. Haven't tried the gloss yet. Sophia says it's so yummy and a perfect gloss to pair with liner. Finally, incredibly elegant nails by London manicurist Georgia Ray. Sophia wore OPI Funny Bunny to the rehearsal dinner, a soft, sheer, milky white when you stick to one coat like Georgia did. Another sheer option I wear is BEB by Olive and June for a similarly minimal milky mani. For the ceremony, Georgia said Sophia wanted a sheer nude with a little pink and they settled on two coats of Biosculpture Sweet Candy Breath. Assuming Georgia might have used the Bio Gel formula, but the same shade does come in the brand's Gemini Nourishing Nail Polish. I've gone for a stronger version of that here, painting at home with one of my favourites I've used on many friends for their weddings, five thin coats of Essie Gel Couture in Fairy Tailor, a long-lasting sheer nude pink. Other possible bridal colours I'd put in that family, Essie Mademoiselle, classic sheer pink, OPI Infinite Shine in Bubble Bath, a sweeter candy pink, and blushing pink OPI Infinite Shine in Baby Take a Vow. 
For nail and cuticle prep, Georgia Ray used Navy Professional Tools. Navy is a British brand a lot of manicurists I love use. So I bought a few tools last year, really enjoying them to step up my prep game. Only something to use if you're already very experienced though. Post polish, Georgia credited Chanel for nourishing hand care. So I'm guessing there might've been a bit of Camellia cuticle oil recommended to me by viewers in my recent cuticle hydration video. A fragrant floral gel that turns into an oil as you massage it in and perhaps some Chanel hand cream, a light absorbent formula with a smooth feel and fresh floral linen like scent. I'll leave my old nail tutorial linked below, planning an updated version this year. Hope you enjoyed this closer look at Sophia's stunningly simple wedding products. Very grateful that Patty, Sophia and Georgia had shared so many details. Let me know if any of these products are already in your makeup bag or if they've made their way onto your wish list. And if applicable, let me know what you wore on your wedding day. I'd love to hear. Thanks for watching. See you next time.